Did you ever poop in one of those bathrooms that were connected to the classrooms? Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Mitomo, Nintendo's first big jump into the mobile marketplace. Today we're going to cover all of the main features of the game, starting with the Mii Maker, of course, and you guys will get a glimpse at my big mug. Something that doesn't happen too often, but I didn't want anyone to miss out on this awesome facial recognition technology. So what is Mitomo? Well, it's a free-to-use social networking mobile app for iOS and Android, but more importantly, it's the spiritual successor or sequel to Tomodachi Life. It's the same development team, and it shares a lot of the amazing humor from those games. If you saw a while back, I did a series on Tomodachi Life. Now, this has a lot of similar features, but instead of having an island filled with Dracula, the Burger King, and Waluigi, you are going to be interacting with your friends and talking to them, asking them questions, answering questions about yourself, and sharing weird photos and stuff. It's pretty fun. It's, it's very unique from the Tomodachi Life series. As you can see, the facial recognition, always great with the Mii Maker. It's, a, it's always trying to give me very strange looking eyes and, and lips and stuff. Eventually, I got a, a fairly normal face out of it. But you don't have to start from scratch like this. I wanted to show the whole Mii Maker process. But you can scan a QR code or link up with your My Nintendo account that just came out as well to get your Mii in here imported. But we're going to quickly speed up through this uh, this little process. You get to see the uh, the amazing picture here of me that was used to make that me right there <laughs> but uh but yeah you can you can get your own me and and my nintendo is kind of a, a really cool little integration to this i wasn't expecting it to be linked so much so that's basically the new club nintendo you can use it to get discounts or downloadable games by earning points doing things and mitomo is linked in really well a lot of the things that you do in mitomo are going to help you get those coins for your my nintendo and there's even rewards linked to this game found on the My Nintendo page, like extra tickets for games and a Mario outfit and stuff like that. So just like Tomodachi Life, we've got Swimmingbird. Text to speech My here. Name is Swimmingbird. We're gonna we're gonna pick a voice. We can mess with pitch My and depth and all this stuff to make really high pitched and irritating or My really low and deep voices. And this is gonna be our little guy here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna go with that. Any of this can be changed later on, so don't worry if you're not in love with how your me turns out. You can even change your personality later on if you redefine yourself. My nickname is swimming. There's different delivery, accents, and then personality. This this just kind of decides what your me is going to act like, but also what your room is going to be like. Energetic people have more, you know, fast-paced music going on and stuff like that. I'm an easygoing dreamer, just like in Tomodachi Life. So while we get going here, I'm going to let my me take over and tell you guys a little bit about how this works. It's it's pretty cool, actually. Like, rather than having to street pass with your friends, you connect with your real friends over the internet and get to see what they're up to and, and hear from their little me's and have photos and stuff with them. You'll see in a second. So glad to be home. Glad to have you here, buddy. Oh, hi. How'd you get in? Oh, you're me. The very meta. Or I'm you. Same thing. Meta element here with our me's. So you know I'm swimming bird, right? We're both swimming anyway, bird. welcome to me, Tomo. All right, we're finally home. Now, the first thing that's going to happen, he's going to ask us a question because questions are pretty important here. You get gold for asking them and answering them. Having fun with friends is what Mitomo is all about. And once we start adding friends, they'll want to know all about us. We'd better give them something to talk about. So it's all about interaction. I was wondering, what's your favorite food? And to add people, you either have to be in the same room with them or be mutual friends on Facebook or Twitter. So Nintendo really wants us to, to not just have a huge list of people we don't even know, but actually have friends that we care about and connect with and learn more about them. There's my favorite food there, delicious lobster. lobster the best. So we got a few coins for that. And the coins are used to buy clothing and things and play the games. I feel like I'm starting to know you, or myself, a lot better now. All right. So next up. Your answers to questions are kept down there. And you can edit them I later. I share your answers with everyone you choose to add as a friend. So nothing your secret. Will share their answers with me. And I'll tell you everything they say. Nothing you tell oh. your me, at least. I'll bring back all sorts of stuff I bet you don't know about your friends. So yeah, the... One more thing. <laughs> Here's a little something for me to celebrate the start of our Mitomo adventure. 
We're going to start with a few rewards from Nintendo. I mentioned this is free to use. You can pay for coins and tickets and I'm stuff. I'm really looking forward to hanging out with you. But so far, I have not had that need at all. Nintendo gives you a lot of this stuff, especially right off the bat. And if you add friends and things, you'll keep getting rewards to get outfits. So it's not really a type of game that you would need to pay for. You can see there's daily bonuses for playing the game and stuff like that. So we're getting tons of stuff right off the bat. We got a Mario cap, you can get the matching outfit on my Nintendo, and some game tickets. We'll play a game here in a second. But my me is uh, is ready to get out there and find some friends. So we're gonna link up with my Twitter account, and anyone that I follow that also follows me, I can add in. So that's a good way to get people, but also Facebook works as well. And like I mentioned, if you're in the room with someone who, who has the app as well, you can connect that way. And there's even a little bonus for doing that. So they encourage you to, to try different ways to add your friend to the game. So we're going to be at, uh, answering a lot of questions, asking a lot of questions, and making weird photos, dropping Miis into pachinko machines. Lots of good stuff here. We'll get into the the Mii photo stuff is probably the most surprising element of this. It's really cool. What's up? Now, there's an everybody answer spent this week. Everybody using Mitomo will be asked the same featured question. Be sure to check out all of your friends' answers via the all answers option. Okay, this week's featured question is What do you do to relieve stress? So, of course, got to put this answer. Now, one thing I do have to say is on the phone, at least, I'm playing on an Android phone, it is a bit slower than, uh, than. Tomodachi life on the 3DS. You can see there's a few different load times and stuff like that. Play video games. Works every time. It looks pretty good though. It's uh, it looks nice for a mobile game, of course. And uh, it is vertical only, as you can see. Yeah. What current event has grabbed your interest? <laughs> Trying to give me those giant lips, even when I didn't put them on my me. But uh, but yeah, it's gonna ask you a lot of these questions and share those answers. But you do get those coins for doing everything, pretty much, to a certain extent. It's it's kind of like Animal Crossing Tomodachi Life in that it encourages you to do certain stuff each day, but then come back the next day to keep getting rewards and keep interacting. Smash Bros. Tournament. Yeah, I guess you're right. I was just watching the Big Pound Tournament this weekend for Melee and Wii U. All right, so we're going to jump out of here into our friends list. I'm going to link up and get some friends going, and you'll start to see them pop up as they add me here. I've got uh, some Twitter friends, but you link up and then you can send requests to people. It doesn't seem to always catch everyone, so it might be good to uh, to ask your friends if, if you popped up on their list and stuff. It's a, it's a little iffy. I'm, I'm going to go into some of the negatives as well. Like I mentioned, can be a little slow with load times and things like that. That's how you get your gifts for the day, so make sure you go into the gift box. But the Mitomo coins that you earn can apply to different rewards, so it is, uh, it is encouraging to use the the app if you want to get some like actual rewards like games and stuff but there are like the platinum and, and gold coins the whole my nintendo system is basically taking over for club nintendo but it's a little more complicated and we'll have to see how it functions with other stuff in the future i'm gonna pop on my mario cap so i'm not just wearing my sweats and i'll get a new outfit here in a second see we even got mitoma coins just for having a uh, a different outfit just for popping on the cap that they gave us for free from playing during the launch period so I mentioned there's a few different things you can do other than interacting with your friends. The drop games are pretty fun. They they use either either tickets that you get, and you'll see here's the few drop games that are going until uh, a little bit later in the month. There's some weird, weird clothing, as is the humor style of this series. And I saw that little cat that rides around in your back, and I was like, I gotta get that. So I went straight for that. The drop game is 500 of your little Mitomo coins, the, the gold coins in this game not the ones that go to your My Nintendo account, or one ticket, but you can uh, you can get the tickets pretty easily. Like I mentioned, they're given out pretty freely by Nintendo. But uh, but yeah, I think if you find something you really want in here, go for it, but it is pretty tough. This game can be challenging. Now here's some dips, there's some, uh, some tips if you want to drop your me correctly. Now if you look, they're spinning back and forth. This is Alice. She's uh, somebody I played Splatoon with in the past. She's been on the Bloop Troop. The uh, the me is going back and forth, and I didn't realize this at first, but when you hit drop, your me is going to drop in the position that it falls. So you, if you want to land on something, it, it's kind of good to drop them horizontally. You don't want to hit those little triangles. All of the different drop games have different layouts, so this is just the one for this one. 
And even if you don't get any of the, the clothing items, you still get candy. Candy is used to bribe your friends. <laughs> They'll eat it just with the wrapper and everything. If your friends are, have stopped telling you answers to their questions, and uh, or just you know sharing information, you can bribe them with candy, and they'll tell you some more stuff. So yeah, trying to get the me in the right position, and uh, and trying to drop them when they don't hit certain stuff is key. I got a kitty mini skirt, not something that I would usually wear in my wardrobe, but I figured I'd grab one. I'm really going for that cat, and uh, I'll keep trying later. But yeah, for now, that's uh, oh we're going one more time here. I forgot. I'm gonna go for it one more time. But yeah, watch. That's the tip though that I want to tell you guys. Watch where your me is. And you can drop them straight down, but you might want to wait till they're sideways like that. Almost got it. And if you want to dodge that triangle on this game, then maybe uh, <laughs> my volume got lowered because it was like, hey, you're listening to this too loud. If you want to dodge that triangle, try to drop it right when it's like towards the center because there's going to be the delay and everything. I was debating which kitty miniskirt to grab. I'm not going to wear them, but might as well get some different ones to fill out my wardrobe. And uh, so yeah, it's, that's, that's just the little drop games. Those are the ones going on right now for clothes, and they are different for different stuff. And we'll get into the me photo stuff here in a second, because once you have some clothing, which I can get different stuff from the shop, you don't have to play the little games to get clothing. It just might help to get the special items. We uh, will take a photo, and I've got a, the perfect little outfit here. I wasn't expecting to find in the shop. There's different stuff daily, just like in Tomodachi Life, your shop's gonna have different items, but it seems like there's more variety in this than there was in that game. And also there's items that are just here for the season, so you'll see a lot of spring stuff right now, but it'll change up later. So here's the daily items, some weird like cupcake hats and, and different stuff, but as always in uh, in the game, there's there's even weirder outfits than the last. I found this baby chick costume and I was like, oh man, I don't know, do I want to be a pea pod? Do I want to be a bear <laughs> or a little chick? A weird like morph suit? So much stuff that you can do. And the, the good thing about these outfits is they allow you to be really creative. If you want to be an adult baby or whatever, that's free <laughs> for you to do. <laughs> they allow you to be really creative in the photos. And I think that the photo element is probably the big thing this has as a leg up over a lot of similar things to play with. You can do so much stuff. I've seen some really weird photos out there already, some creative stuff, and you can import any picture that you have on your phone. You don't just have to use the, the stock images they have, and you can do some really strange stuff. So here's just a quick look at the cat costume and all the different things that you can grab out of the shop. Here's one with a giant tomato thing and then there's a bunch of spring you know spring different clothing and stuff you can cha change different colors you don't have to stick with whatever the default is and these all cost just the coins that you earn from playing the game so the, some of the stuff can get pretty expensive like if you want an entire baby chick costume it's gonna drop you down a couple thousand gold so definitely try to buy the stuff you really care about because you're gonna run out of gold fast otherwise and uh, playing the drop games, if there is an item in there you'd want, you know, you're going to save money if you're just buying the tickets. And that's that's the uh, the free-to-play element. I look <laughs> looking pretty cool with my bandana, no shirt, and a baby chick hat. Uh, but yeah, the free-to-play element is that all this stuff can be earned normally, but if you want to, you really have something you want to buy, and you want to buy some... Uh, some gold coins you can get several thousand for a few bucks and stuff like that real world but like i said i have not found the need to do that i've been able to earn everything just by playing the game adding friends talking to them all the stuff you're supposed to do to uh to better link up with your buddies and I've, i have to say I've, i already feel like i've kind of gotten back in touch with people that i haven't talked to in a while and using this there's like over three million people using this app already so a lot of people out there hopefully you guys can find some people to uh to add and hang out with because i think it is a really good way to i i fell in love with that one and that's the one i'm going with it is a really good way to to get to know your friends and i mentioned the drop game that strategy from uh it came from one of my friends brett and i haven't talked to him too much in a while but we reconnected talking about little kittens that sit on your back and and he gave me the strats about timing it and stuff and i i didn't realize until later the whole thing about the me position affecting it and stuff like that so so yeah anyways i'm gonna check out here i'm going with this little costume just like tomodachi life your shops are going to be populated by people that you have become friends with 
So uh, later I was buying I was buying something out of the shop and I, Danielle popped up into my shop. And like I mentioned, sometimes it's not the best at picking up who you're friends with on Twitter and stuff. It'll show you a bunch of them, but it might not show everybody that has the app. And I didn't see Danielle originally, my girlfriend, but I was able to add her directly. And I, I'm glad I did that, actually, because you get a little reward for direct adding people. So there we go. We got a weird baby chick costume. And I'm happy Your that I was able to level up my style, just like Tomodachi Here's Life. From Nintendo You're going to be leveling fashion. up as you go, and by trying on new clothes and just kind of playing the game, you, also learned you get new title titles, and you get new rewards the like tickets. You what you wear, the higher your style level will get. So now we got another ticket if we want a pancake, a pancake little mini skirt, like tube top, whatever it is, one piece. And a, uh, a doll of a butter on her head. I didn't go for that. I tried on my kitty mini skirts. You know, everybody's got to try it one time or another. But I'm sticking with my bird outfit. I think it fits. All right. So yeah, the photo element. Now that we've tried on a uh, a new set of clothes, the game is going to prompt you, usually once a day or so, to try to make a photo and try to post it. Is the thing it it tries to get you to do each time you're uh, you're ready. So here we go. Apparently this is the best thing Alice has ever bought. Knitting needles. We're gonna get into me photo after we learn a little bit about my my, my my new buddy Alice here. And you can comment on on different things. It's just like most social media. You can give them a little heart if you liked what they said. I heard you Alice can, uh... Chicago. Don't come here, it's bad. <laughs> Good to know. I'm already learning valuable information. But you can comment with photos as well, which is Thanks. which is a nice little thing. So if you want to be creative and comment not with words, but with your inner feelings. That's the best way to do it. All right, so you get coins when I change closer for uh, photo for just even listening to the the answers of your friends. But this is the big draw for me, at least, making these we weird photos. Up. It'll give you a default one, and you can randomize it. You can change it around. But the best way is to uh, these are some of the random ones. The best way to do it, though, really, is to get into it. Click hold on and get in here and you guys are gonna see the depth of the me photo feature. So here we go, the music is great as well. I already heard someone mash this tune up with Nickelback. I'll put that in the description if you guys wanna hear it because it, weirdly it's really catchy, like a weird mashup between photograph and this catchy, catchy me song. All right, so here we go. You can drag your me around, you can stretch them, you can spin them, you can get rid of their body if you want. You can just have a head. I saw an awesome Animorphs picture where they phased into a cat person. People have been so creative with this stuff. So here's the basic backgrounds. I'll show you a few of these as we go through. You can get a glimpse of them. But you can upload any picture from your phone. So you can get really creative with this stuff. You could be floating through space, tripping the light fantastic, or or just have, you know, random stuff behind you. There's a spotlight. Reminds me of Earthbound when you get a game over. Lots of cool stuff. And uh, and you can you can add in your buddies too. So once you have friends with uh, you know any anybody who's got a me, you can pop them in here, and you can have up to four me's in a picture. You can do all these different poses. There's animations. There's all this cool stuff. I'm gonna skip ahead here once I have my uh, my picture ready. This is a greeting card that I found at my local Wegmans grocery store. Uh, <laughs> two greeting cards here, in case you want to send a card from your dog or from your cat. I uh. I didn't know that was a thing, but I took a picture of this a while back and I've saved it and it's perfect for this occasion. So here we go. I'm gonna put my little me down here. You can drag them on the bottom to get rid of them and they'll go back to the default default pose. I did that on accident, but that's a good way to show how to get rid of stuff if you add in little pictures and stuff. So there's all these expressions you can do. You can change what your me looks like. You can change how they're posed. If you touch the screen anywhere but your me and like slide your finger, that's how you rotate your me, you know, horizontally or vertically. I added a little cat face. I ended up changing this to a dog later because I realized it was from the dog. But I figured I'd make my little guy as a card popping out there. So you got the expression. Next up, the, if you tap that little arrow, it'll kind of expand it. Next up, we got to pick our animation. And there's a ton of different poses here. I'm, I've just been surprised by how the, the app is, is mostly just about socializing, but the fact that they put so much into this weird little photo app so you can you can speed up that animation with the little rabbit turtle meter the slower you go the easier it is to pinpoint when you take your picture i've got it going super fast here i'm going to add in a little you know peace sign v for victory 
throw that in there, make it look like it's, you know, coming off my little Mies nub arm. And uh, you can grab that and stretch it. So it's got a lot of little, like, clip art things that you throw in there. And I'm just taking you guys through the whole p process of, uh, of making one of these things. There's lots of different hands for every type of person out there. We got little, you know, utensils, computers. Hopefully they keep expanding this and adding more stuff. Because there's, there's a lot of options. You can have Adamu eyes and devil wings, but uh, there's there's options, but I think they could keep, keep adding and uh, expand this even more to make it even more interesting. You can add text to the photo. I started to get into that with later stuff. If you guys have been following my Twitter, at Swimmingbird941, if you're interested, I've been posting a lot of these photos, so if you want to see a lot of funny stuff, <laughs> then uh, hopefully funny. I'll see if you guys are going to be the judge of that, but, but if you want to see that stuff, I've been posting it on Twitter. It makes it very easy to share through other, you know, social media stuff and apps. So there we go. We took a picture. If you, you don't get the, the pose you want, you can retake it. Since my guy was moving so fast, I had no idea where that little cat was gonna be. That cat bird. All right. So that's how you make the photos. You can add in more guys and get creative with it. I wanna see what you guys come up with too. If you, if you wanna share stuff with me, let me know on Twitter. That's a good way to, to share pictures. All right. So we've got our photo. Wanna add a comment? We can add a comment as well, which I will do here. Had to come up with something. And competition for flashiest greeting card is getting rough. A little dog yes. pun in there. If you don't like certain, you know, answers that you do, or that caption accidentally put a period and it still put a uh, question mark, you can go in and edit it. It's pretty easy just by going to your answers and uh, recent stuff. And we're gonna throw a few other things here. You can see I, I retook the picture with a dog face because I figured that would be a little bit more appropriate for that. But yeah, we'll have a friend visit here to finish up. This is Alice, as I mentioned. She was on the Bloop Troop, my Splatoon squad, and she's gonna share some stuff. So occasionally, Ami will randomly come over to visit, yeah. and you can talk to them about what they're into. They'll share some info. I'd love to be friends with this famous person. <laughs> Johnny Depp is by. <laughs> I don't know if he is that, but uh, sometimes the pronunciation's a bit weird. But there we go. So we get some coins for listening. I've noticed this becoming really popular recently. That's a Sleeping. great, great pastime there. So I definitely commend that one. <laughs> Give a little, uh, a little heart there for that. <laughs> you can see my, my me needs to do a little more sleeping. I get got rid of the bags yeah. under his eyes later. What's your most recent but purchase? your friends will ask you different stuff. And as you can see, they'll also emote based on different things. Like that question had to do with money. If you write money or things like that. They'll have those coins in their eyes raining down from the sky, making it rain. A lot of the different stuff you type are different little emoji that if you put like a different face in, it will change your me's reaction. Pocket tournament. <laughs> Interesting. Pocket tournament. So yeah, the pronunciation isn't always great, but I think that's some of the fun with the text to speech. All right, so you can you can tell your friend to get out, and they'll keep thinking about you as they go out into the hallway. And that is uh, that's pretty much it for the basic features. So. What's up? We're gonna finish up here with uh, with just kind of jumping in and changing my greetings. You saw she said peace. See ya in the funny pages. That's my send off. Howdy doody. And my greetings and stuff like that. You can change all that by by hitting that I little. I this is the type of person Ellis has fallen in love at first sight with. Hey. That little lip symbol. Very kind person <laughs> who did something nice for me or someone else. She confused me. I thought it was just a. She really wishes she could forget about this. And you guys Elementary can see school. the uh, the comments that people can leave. I thought this one was kind of funny. People commiserating about yes. elementary school. This is another person I know from Smash Brothers, but their friend commented on this. So here's the comments. Here we go. <laughs> Jeremiah. Did you ever poop in one of those bathrooms that were connected <laughs> to the classrooms? That was honestly the worst experience ever. This is a great Sounds way to be. Like uh, she has been really into this recently and highly. <laughs> great way to be cathartic here. about memories like money. that. I need money. So there we go. Got the money emote and the little smiley face. All right, that's gonna be it, guys. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna give TV you my now. favorite TV show to send off. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I hope you got a good yeah. look at me, Tomo. If you want to see more, I'll keep playing it, making funny photos and stuff. I've been having fun so far, and I hope you guys enjoy it too. It's free to download, free to use. And I'll see you guys next time for more when Danielle joins in and we try to get a cat to ride on our back.